hello everyone uh, uh, welcome back this is going to be a small video in which we're going to look at uh, how to uh, use uh, the various order flow stroke uh, footprint uh, tools into finding good uh, trade opportunities uh, in an intraday time frame so you could use these um, uh, tools or uh, the uh, methodology into finding uh, good scalps throughout the day so uh, what we're going to discuss today is uh, a trade that we could have taken on the uh, nifty on 28th of uh, october that is friday that just went by us so uh, to start with this uh, chart might look i mean uh, a downtrend and it looks easy uh, maybe it was for uh, let's say an intraday time frame but uh, for scalping this was a difficult day so if, if you had difficulty trading on this day uh, there's nothing to feel bad about because this wasn't an easy day to trade uh, and uh, I was in there and uh, you can see so there was no clear movement anywhere it goes up gives a red candle like this then goes up doesn't have a follow through comes back down and then finally goes back down now what I uh, I'm going to show you here is there are days like this and these two similar days uh, look quite similar okay even this was a difficult day to trade if you were looking into scalping uh, some 15 20 points that we generally talk about in our videos so um, why I say so is uh, look at these candles okay you get two red and two green this was the only move that was uh, I mean a good I mean you could get good points without any uh, major pullbacks on the upside but again this was from the highs you need a confirmation and uh, I mean uh, the setup uh, or the setups prevalent at that time were not so great it was a risky trade yes this was an area where you could have gone short from but again it is too early in the day and I mean um, again it depends it's, it's on the risk you take and uh, against the reward you're willing to uh, I mean get out of that so uh, getting back onto the charts you can look what has been happening the bank nifty on the other hand was giving great clean moves the nifty over here is was really atrocious is the word if you're scalping so if for example you're taking a shot when this breaks uh, you get your stop hit because we're looking into small uh, I mean the risk is small when we are scalping and this keep, keeps going on so uh, by this time if you're looking at the charts holistically so uh, you're seeing what is what is generally happening market opens gap up and then there is no follow through on the upside and this keeps happening so this is something that we were expecting uh, and this these two days were really really uh, difficult to trade off in the sense to get good targets so what you're looking for is uh, I mean uh, small targets and uh, and finding a good entry because there is no range as such where you can get a good good bounce off even a short trade is uh, I mean not so uh, I mean there's no guarantee you get the results so uh, although it did seem all this while that there will be a sharp pullback like this on this day as well there was at the end but again it was very wayward so and it, it both these days it's after 230 or 245 it's it's a huge risk to actually enter into a trade at that time because the market swings are really I mean big and uh, th there's always a very high probability of your uh, a stop loss is getting hit so this something like this on this day is the complete opposite so what we're generally trying to find out is a trade before 1430 so that uh, the tools we use are of some assistance to us and they give us a, a high probability trade so without further ado let's get into the uh, uh, the uh, footprint charts okay so uh, first uh, let's go back to the volume profile so the trade that actually uh, was I mean uh, what I was looking at after a really sh I mean wayward auction happening throughout the day was this one so I have discussed the 
concepts like these in my previous videos so why this this is a volume node and the market uh, or the auction opens above this zone is uh, I mean hardly tests it and there's a pullback from there so again uh, this is the zone that I'm looking at rather I'll just draw it again uh, sorry for that let me delete this and what I'm looking for is the first test as I have spoken earlier this is the one I was talking about so the first test of this area so to be precise this is the area I was looking at okay to enter a trade so this is the first test the first time the market just pops up of course it is a low the low gets broken but uh, uh, we don't trade right blindly right at the lows we're looking for a confirmation we just go into the footprint and see what we're looking at at that point in time okay so this is uh, this area around 780 to 790 is what we were looking at uh, to take a trade so let's uh, go back and let us also have a look at what time this was this is about 1300 okay so let's go directly to 1300 and this is a five minute chart okay this is the footprint and you see uh, like we've discussed in the previous videos what are the things you look at before you enter you need to see some of some form of absorption followed by aggression so absorption or in the sense the market halting you can call so uh, for example uh, over here what do we see uh, with the downfall there is uh, delta not there's, there's hardly any change in delta it reduces here comes back up this is number one the second thing we look at is this volume okay so uh, these are these certain nuances when you're in the trade you can look into and get confidence and thereby take out good trades okay with really really minimal losses or minimal stop losses and um, so the delta over here on a five minute uh, footprint chart we see has uh, no issue it doesn't give us a feeling that it is going to really pump down at a uh, fierce pace if it really was that uh, strong a day of selling these numbers would have been really really high look at this no follow through okay this this keeps happening throughout the day as we just discussed so there's no i mean the selling is uh, not that fierce so uh, we shouldn't be afraid to take a long guess days like this do come by wherein uh, you get your stop losses it just too bad but we we are here to play probability so let, uh, let's get into uh, the trade that we spoke about so this is the place now our next part is uh, after seeing some aggression after the absorption of the halting is to uh, look at what our risk is so that we can define our reward okay so uh, let us zoom out and see what our reward could be the risk of course is this low getting broken so we take a trade after this uh, let us zoom it out again so when this happens we of course are going to take a trade uh, after we get a good pullback okay this is a confirmation there is some sort of aggression coming in you see the buyer stepping in two imbalances on the buy side so this is one place where uh, we we are sure okay this might hold it might give us some profit okay the volumes do pick up at this area but uh, to no avail they don't go down so again two things that work in our favor that we might get a uh, 15 20 point scalp with i mean almost uh, 8 to 10 points of risk so we'll see what is the risk involved okay now uh, the next thing is we see where can the market halt okay so uh, just zoom out and you can see this is the area where the market has been taking resistance it didn't break uh, that much so 820 to 830 is the area that we might find some sort of resistance so that is the target for us at max okay now uh, where do we enter okay so uh, for that as you are aware uh, we go a little uh, uh, into we go into a little smaller time frame so the smaller time frame would be uh, one minute wherein we don't look at the exact uh, order flow as such but uh, sorry for that let, let us put this back to five minutes and let's make this one as one minute okay so uh, this is one and this is five yeah okay so uh, let's go back to the 1300 uh, candlestick over here so this is the place where we looked at where we might find up uh, i mean a long trade because of uh, 
what we had seen initially from the volume profile okay so let me delete this okay so okay this is the place we were looking at okay so uh, let us get the imbalances on there so these uh, these are imbalances if someone is new here uh, we've again discussed this in the previous videos how to set them up so this is a one minute chart where, where we have the imbalances so uh, we're talking about this area again we can't enter here we see now on a one minute we see very clearly that there was huge volumes coming over here okay and they're not able to break the market down in fact the first time when the huge volume is there everything is seems to be absorbed and the second time the volume is a lot lower okay so if you if you actually uh, zoom it out you will see even clearly that the sellers just uh, giving way and as we see the market absorption followed by aggression you just go here and see so on a one minute you see it very clearly okay on this one the delta was really high okay up till here there was uh, the delta was normal and this bar had a lot of uh, um, selling that gets absorbed the next time the market comes here there's absolutely nothing minus 41 okay uh, don't look at the numbers it is just the relative uh, strength in respect to the previous bars is what we are looking at so look at the change the second time the market comes this is hardly any selling and look at uh, the buy imbalances forming on uh, this side okay even though delta is higher here there are a lot of balling, uh, buy imbalances on this one as well this is a one minute chart you did not pay attention but just to i mean to get a feel that if the market was selling so hard or i mean uh, there were really good amount of sellers their aggression wouldn't have stopped here okay and uh, and someone wouldn't have stepped in if uh, the aggression was that strong so this is the second time this time hardly any delta hardly any volume so okay this is our confirmation that we can enter a trade now do we enter right here no we just wait we see if there is actually uh, some sort of uh, what do we say confirmation and uh, we wait uh, for the bias to step in so we do see some sort of uh, buying step in so this is one trigger for us so the next time uh, you can see on a one minute chart there's a buy imbalance formed here so this is the area where we take the trade okay now we just zoom out a little bit so to see where our targets would be so uh, now a target uh, this uh, uh, sell imbalance that has been formed has already been tested so uh, if you are looking at risk reward and it has crossed so we know for uh, sure that this selling is not as strong so this can be breached at any time in the day so we take uh, when we take a trade we uh, are cautious when the market does move here but uh, a rather better uh, target would be of this region okay because this uh, selling has been broken once already and yes it does come back so uh, it depends on uh, how conservative you are but when i would be trading even on a five minute chart when i was looking at this 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 selling didn't seem to be as strong so you can of course um, and if it was that strong look at the distance it travels from there it's hardly anything it goes back in the first push it breaks it so i i'm not trusting this selling so my targets would be at least uh, somewhere here okay if i'm taking a short trade now uh, i'm sorry a long trade now uh, let's get into what the actual trade would have been okay so uh, the trade would have been somewhere here so let's get the uh, long tool out okay somewhere in this region where i get this is my entry point where the market keeps testing but is not able to take out this buy imbalance and like we discussed previously there's no point in keeping the day low if if this breaks i know for sure this is going down so i'm not giving uh, any more points uh, further because if this is going to break it's going to test this and take out another few stop losses that are below here so i'll get stopped out in any way so let me not give the day low as my stop loss and my target would be somewhere this place as we just discussed because this buying again if you're conservative even this will give you more than one is to one if you can see but i would rather have it somewhere on top and uh, halfway 
either it my target gets met here or somewhere later over there okay so this is my uh, play so as i was saying when the market eventually does break okay uh, so this is i think more than 1 is to 1.5 uh, it's 2 to 2.5 so even 1 is to 2 it would be somewhere here you can get yeah you can get your targets here done so this is one trade that i uh, i was the only one on in the entire day which i there is one more that i uh, noticed the other day but that was really late in the day and after 14:30 we'll just see that one as well but after 14:30 it is a risky bet and uh, uh, let's delete this so this is the trade that we uh, just saw and it would have really helped you play out so what I was discussing is if the market breaks the low as you see here it just goes there pops down and takes out all the stop losses so this is what we're talking about there's no point giving in that stop loss uh, I mean this stop loss at the day low it's going to break if you're looking for scalping that is if intraday yes of course you can go way lower but the targets would have been uh, higher now the second one that I uh, was talking about is somewhere here this zone okay so this is the buy imbalance that is created and this was a really clean move after such a long time I mean uh, this after waiting for the whole day this was the cleanest move of them all so uh, the market goes up this is a good buy imbalance formed over here uh, you can have a look on the five minute chart and check it out for yourself and uh, maybe you could use it uh, for trading in the future it comes back the same thing it holds there is a sell imbalance also which is absorbed so this is the confirmation you take your trade here the stop loss is just this one let me delete this this was a really really good trade but again the only part being it was very late in the day so uh, let's get this uh, long tool out again so uh, just let me draw this yeah so uh, the entry would have been somewhere here the stop loss right there and again this could have been whatever and this was the finally the cleanest move at least till here or whatever even this was legit but uh, whatever is one is to two was uh, okay okay so uh, as you can see the i don't know what has happened here let me just redraw it okay uh, long position so we enter from here and it was somewhere here. of course one is to two was met it this was the most legit trade of the day the only part is it happens somewhere around 14 23 24 okay you can take it again it depends on your risk appetite i don't like taking trades after that time it, it is uh, i mean uh, a little risky because uh, you don't know the lot of positions are getting squared off being built so it's a little risky uh, hopefully you had uh, you enjoyed this video until next time bye bye